Technically, this is my first overlanding trip. Overlanding, car camping, camping, boondocking, whichever you want to call it. Speaking of boondocking, did you know that the term boondocking came from the word bundok, which is the mountains in Filipino? If you don't know, now you know. Like I said, this is my first overlanding trip but this is not my first time adventuring see growing up in the Philippines my father's side, which has six siblings, and we're like more than 20 cousins. Every, not every, probably five to six times a year, we go to a long drive back home. We, we, we go to the province, to the beach, to the mountains. So um, having long drives like this is not new to me. And we don't actually camp. But before Air Airbnb started, uh, we're doing Airbnbs. Uh, there's some houses that we go to that we rent or motels and it has a kitchen. So we actually cook, bring our stuff. So basically it is camping. Shout out to the Barangay Dumlao for all the adventures. living here in the US, I want to do the same thing. I want to do it with my family. And that's why I'm doing it alone for now, is this going to be a learning experience. This is going to be uh, letting me know what to do, what not to do, and learning from these guys. Six percent. Ah, good. Your fridge only take what? Only uh, uses what? 40, 50 watts. Yeah. Yeah. And the thing is, it actually tells me on how much hours. Um, yeah. You don't need to calculate. Yeah. It says eleven hours.
So it's about 11.19 now and we are headed back to Las Vegas from Alabama Hills and I've learned so much doing uh, a camp just by myself. Uh, like what I said, I want to bring the fam with me uh, camping. I did learn a lot, not just from experience but from the people around me. Uh, from the guys. Let me just show you what my budget uh, current setup that I did during this trip. Let's start with shelter. So I just slept in the back of the Forerunner. I did have a hey trip. Shout out to Mark Tataro Forerunner. If you haven't uh, followed him on Instagram, he has a sick Forerunner build. Go follow him. Um, he does have a hey trip um, mattress, a hey trip table. Uh, I borrowed it from him and he also have a hay trip uh, tailgate tent which I was planning to pop up. Unfortunately it was too windy. Let's lower that down. Now, it's too windy to, to put it on and I don't want to ruin it because it's not mine. Next is potty. Of course you need to do number one, number two. As a male, you know, it's easy to do number one. For number two, I did have like an old bucket, put a pool noodle around it with the bag inside. Get some wipes and that's it. I did borrow uh, like a pop-up shower tent, privacy tent from Mark as well. But again, it was too windy. I don't want it to be flying off. So I went and borrowed Sean, went to his uh, privacy shower tent. It's not really a shower tent, a privacy shower awning. Uh, I think it's best if I get one of those as well in the future, not just for me, but having the wife or any female in your family camping, it's definitely way better than the pop-up shower tent. And lastly, I think one of one of the three most important things that you need to start camping, because we already have shelter, we already have a potty and next is food of course food i borrowed the stove from mark it is from ozark trail uh walmart brand um it's it's a simple stove for the table i borrowed mark's hate trips um table which is really cool actually and most of the stuff that i'm using uh, the cast iron pan the pan all the uh, utensils that i use to cook is from home so i didn't really buy anything when it comes to that except for the food of course fortunately when it comes to food i did have uh, meats that needs to be refrigerated uh, lucky enough i won a giveaway and instagram from fj80 cavalry blue again another sick 80 series land cruiser go follow him on instagram um, he has partnered with Bodega Cooler and currently I have a Bodega Cooler at the back and that's what I use to basically that's my cooler um, but if you're gonna do this in a budget my original plan was before winning the giveaway my original plan is I do have uh, a simple cooler at home put some ice in it put the meats in there now being fortunate that I did have a power bank from Anchor Solix they did partner up with me in showcasing that product on Instagram Instagram and TikTok and Facebook if you guys are following me you should have seen that post um, it's one of their big portable power banks that is like a 1000 kilowatt hour power bank and it held up really good with the bodega cooler I believe that is my setup am I missing something when it comes to food yeah I think that's it so, how was my experience? It was great. Would I do it all over again? Yes and yes. 
I definitely don't want to do solo camping. I would definitely want to go out with some friends with the Idols gang and you know some other people who wants to go camp. Tips for a beginner overlander, beginner camper, bigger boondocker. I don't know if that's what you call them, but if you want to get into this hobby, I would say just go for it. Just dive in. Again, just all you only need is those two essentials. You got shelter on how you're gonna do your number one, number two, and food. And I would suggest just do an overnight or even like a day trip, um, so you could see what your setup is or the, or the setup that you need to. Again, you don't really need this fancy um, rooftop tents to enjoy outside, enjoy nature. You don't need roof. I mean, they are great. I'll probably get one in the future, but I don't know. But this is my way of of getting into this hobby. Just dive right in. Uh, if you have any questions on how I did uh, some of the stuff, uh, feel free to comment down below. If you like content like this, hit that like button. Go follow and subscribe. Not just here on YouTube, but also on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. And all the people that I've overland with I'll put their Instagram links in the description below thank you for watching hope to see you again yeah.